Sunday not thinking about what else is going on, like with Atlanta and, and, and all that? Or? Uh, it's not difficult, of course. You know, we, we know what the case is. We know that we have to need a little help. That's very unfortunate, but um, like, like always, we definitely got to focus on ourselves. And you know, no matter what happens, we'll go out there and play hard, play our best of our abilities. And so, you know, we don't know, I'm assuming before the game, but we're going to still go out there and play our best and get the job done, no matter. Sneak a peek at halftime or someone tell you what's going on in Atlanta? Somehow it's going to get to us. Somebody, we, the word spreads. It's, it's going to spread around. That's, that's just natural and that's going to be the case. And so we definitely go find out. And whenever, whenever we find out, we just got to play ball still. It, it doesn't matter. What's it been like seeing Bobby work through this injury the last several weeks and not being able to practice much and still going out there and the potential it could go again at any point? How how's he kind of worked through that? Much respect for him, man. It's um it's not easy playing in this league with, with an injury, not being able to practice because his whole career we've always practiced all the time and to not be able to get those reps, have to switch, get those mental reps is real impressive. And he's like, he's still, you know, not, not, not himself, but he's still out there making plays, getting tackles. He chased down Zeke on like a counter play last week, as you saw. So he's still able to get it done, even not being 100%. So much respect to him. We, uh, we don't like missing games as linebackers. And um, he's doing a great job so far this year. How tough is it to swipe the football out of somebody's hands? Byron Maxwell seems to have a... You got a net for it. Is he as good as you've seen do that? I mean, yeah, yeah, he's one of the best, man. We um, he was out here when we started watching Charles um, Charles Tillman, of course. But um, some guys just have different mentalities. Me personally, if I see a guy coming, it's my natural instinct to want to just tackle him and get him on the ground. But he just has a whole different mindset where he just want to go after the ball. Sometimes he gets ran over. It's gonna work out for him, but um, it's you know high re high risk, high reward, and so. He's been big for us as soon as he's got here. You know, we've all we've all learned from him. Earl does a great job with it as well. When did they start showing you the videos? This is years ago. Now, when was Maxi here? During around the Super Bowl time? So I believe that's when we started looking at it around when we played New England. And so he's been doing it. You saw he did it in um, Miami, he's doing it in Philly. And so he just stuck with him. The the series with Arizona through the last few years has been sort of crazy. They one a few up here, you guys always seem to mm -hmm. lay down there or whatever. Anything you put your finger on, and what has kind of made that with this series? No, they just it's just two really good teams of um, both teams, really good defenses. I believe it's always been uh, one of those battles, it's just going back and forth, and um, it's always it's always tough whenever we play those guys. And so uh, I saw what the coach said; it's kind of funny, but um, you know it's gonna be a good game, I'm sure, because they put up a shutout against New York, which is not easy to do in this league. And so it's not gonna be it's not gonna be easy. Even though they're at the playoffs, they still want to come in here and um, try to get a win. And so it's gonna be a battle. When you look at the career that Larry Fitzgerald's had, what stands out to you, and he, how effective he continues to be? Yeah, I was I was talking earlier. It's uh, we was watching film on him, me and Bobby. And we was just talking about how whenever you see Larry Fitzgerald, just so many guys have so much respect for him. And he's just, they always helping him up, just talking to him. And he's, uh, whenever you play him, he's asking about your family, how you doing, and all this stuff. And so uh, he's just a great guy to be around. I wish, you know, somehow I could spend more time with him, get to know him. But a uh, great guy, first Valley Hall of Famer. And so it's always great when you just in the presence of a legend like himself. What continues to make him so effective on the field? Just consistency. His, uh, his hands are one of the best. The route running is good. The quarterback um, throws it to him a lot. And so he just finds a way to get the job done. And he's, um, he's done it the right way his whole career. And um, he can play another three years if he wanted to. Has everyone you heard been that uh, Earl said, uh, come get me, to uh, Coach Garrett. Uh, did you wonder, hey, Earl, what are you thinking? Um, no, nah, I, I didn't wonder that. You know, Earl is, um, is a unique individual. I love him. And um, like, like most people, you know, we all, you know, a lot of guys grew up Cowboys fans. And so he just got real emotional, you know. He's saying towards the end of his career, if something were to ever happen, come and get me. So I, kn I knew what he meant, but when it came off initially, I was like, I was a little confused. But when he explained himself, I understood what he meant. Did he explain it to, to some of you guys then separately or something? No, he didn't explain it to us separately. Uh, Coach, Coach Carroll explained it, and so we got it then. So it's no big deal. He's not going anywhere anytime soon. Maybe year 15 or 16, he can go to Dallas if, um, if that was the case. Is everyone in the locker room aware of what uh, Bruce Arians said? Yeah, but it's, it's, that's no big deal. It's um, that's very small. It's something that we don't pay much attention to, 
And uh, we always, like you said, we always focus on ourselves. It's, uh, that's what it takes to get this team fired up, then that's cool. But um, we know who we are, and we know that we uh, have business to take care of. Drew Stanton's back at quarterback for Arizona. Mm -hmm. What have you seen from him on film? He's good. Um, we played him, you know, of course, on Thursday night, and uh, he's a guy that really likes to get the ball to Larry Fitzgerald. And um, he's not be out there and making a bunch of mistakes. He's a pretty consistent game manager. And I believe the game plan should be like it was last time, to run the ball, try to keep the game close, don't mess it up. And uh, we just got to find a way to take advantage of uh, those throws he make. You said you're 15 or 16 for Earl. Are you negotiating an extension for him right Yeah, now? yeah. Give, him, give this man a seven-year deal, keep him here, and then last year he can go play for Dallas if he wants to. You were on the sidelines on the uh, uh, the Rams game, helpless to do anything about yeah. what was going on. Uh, what was going through your mind about the, the breadth and depth of that loss? Yeah, I, I just felt uh, extremely helpless just watching my guys. Um, I know what I bring to the table. I know that there were some things we could have communicated well. There were some things, there were some plays I could have made. And um, it just sucks when you're, out there, when you're not out there helping, you know, not being able to help your guys. And so it feels good to be back. And... Um, you know, I really hate that one out there because you, you hate to see us put up that kind of effort, you know, especially in our home home field. And so I'm back now, and uh, that should never happen again. If you had an MVP vote, would it go toward Gurley? What's that? If you had an MVP vote, would it go to Gurley? Ah, oh, he's definitely in the conversation. He's his this past few games have been outstanding by him, and um, I'm sure he he's up there. Brady's up there. Antonio Brown is one of my favorites around the league. So if I had to pick, it would be Antonio Brown. Anything else? Thanks, KJ. Appreciate it, y'all.